Hello everyone and welcome back to Satisfactory. Oh boy, we got our Caterium online and we got Quickwire coming in. Ton of it coming in actually. We already have 360 in here. So that's pretty awesome. So now what I think we're gonna do, Blade Runner should be done researching by now for sure. I don't know what they cost to make, so I'm kind of thinking we just grab a whole bunch of stuff and take it back. So that way, no matter what it costs, we should hopefully be able to build it. Oh, I got so much concrete. You know, I'm just deleting this. Um, so yeah, let's take, I guess, uh, we have plenty of quick wire on us. You know what? Let's sort this so I know what I have. Let's take, I don't know why I delete all that concrete. Let's take some concrete back. Uh, let's take some steel pipes back, some steel beams back. Let's take some wire. I'm actually going to need probably a bit of wire. Uh, copper cable, sure. Let's take 500 back. Copper sheets. I don't see us really needing copper sheets, but why not? Screws, I... We have 500 screws. Never mind, we're good. We got rods. I think we have plates as well. Yep. All right, over here. Let's get some reinforced plates. We do have more up there as well as that storage chest over there. So I got to do those. We have 100 rotors. Smart plating. Let's grab that just in case. Let's grab some box frames. And all these are empty. Okay. So what we're going to do is do the Blade Runners. Hopefully. Find out what it costs to make. And then hopefully use them. See what those are. And then I think what we're going to do is set up assemblers for the rest of the items that we have unlocked. So if I take a look at assemblers. I guess it's another thing. I need to make sure I have everything to make assemblers. We need to make... Encased industrial beams, stators, stators, motors, versatile framework, automated wiring, and AI limiters. So one, two, three, four, five, six more things. I'm not going to worry about fabric just yet. Don't even know if that's four besides the parachute. So yeah, we got six more things to unlock or to start assembling. We do have the materials for all of this on the loop minus this thing because that requires this to be done but once that's done then we can do that so we should be good to start assembling all of this but before we do that i also want to redo how the assemblers up there are currently oriented so that way the inflow line can say go this way and go straight into the assemblers and then the outflow can go back the same exact way without doing all this weird crisscrossing that it's doing now so we're going to handle that. So I guess for assemblers, uh, let's just say we're going to make 10. No, let's say we're going to make 20. So what do we need? Rotors. So let's take more rotors. And then we will also, on our way back, let's go and grab a bunch of reinforced plates out of that storage where I have like eight different splitters. Pretty much pulling off every single reinforced plate out of there. That's why there's not very many over here because I have a bunch of splitters just splitting off and merging into one storage container back here. So a lot of our reinforced plates going to be here. So let's grab that. And then before we do anything, let's go back to base and check on the Blade Runners. All right. So I picked up a whole bunch of reinforced plates on my way back. So let's see about these Blade Runners, shall we? Should be done by now, right? There we go. Blade Runners, all right. So we can't unlock Smart Splitter yet, which I really want. So we need to do the AI limiter. So let's check out the Blade Runners. That should be in here, right? Uh, Blade Runner, there they are. So quick wire, box frames, rotor. I guess it's a good thing I brought all that. Oh, not enough space. Uh, Oh, I can just drop something real quick, I guess. There we go. All right, craft this. And let's see what we get. Hey, Blade Runner. So how do I equip this? Oh, does it just go on body? Oh, it does. Hey, so what does this do? Ooh, that's a speed boost. And then it negates like fall damage or some fall damage. I don't think that was high enough. Also, I think it makes us jump higher. I think that is a jump higher, right? So we can get on top of this. Can I do that before? Oh, no, definitely not. That's like double jump height. Oh, that is awesome. All right, give me those back. Definitely take those. There we go. All right. So now that we've got these awesome Blade Runners, that was actually pretty easy. 
let's go up to the assembler floor and start planning out how we want to do everything. So here we are up here. So this is what I'm talking about. I oriented it this way, this all the wrong way. Cause as you can see, the stuff's coming in this way and then it has to like crisscross all weird and then the output's on the back and then it has to loop back through. I don't like that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna switch this around to where instead of these being oriented like this, they're gonna be like this. Either like this or like this. So that way the input's on one side and the output's on the other and it's just straight lines going back and forth. Because what that also allows us to do, say I wanted more assemblers here for smart plating or for reinforced plates, I obviously can't just add one right next to this. That won't work. But if I have them like this, I can easily just keep on adding some down the line and all I have to do is add in a merger and we're good to go. So yeah, I need to redo all of this. So I'm gonna redo this for these reinforced plates here. I'm also gonna re redo it for the, what is this? The rotors and then the smart plating. And then while I'm at it, I'll also get it set up for box frames. So this is gonna be a lot of me deconstructing this. So I'm just gonna take care of this and then we'll come back in like an hour when I'm finished doing all this. So hang in there and we'll be back. Oh boy, it's been a bit. So I got these four little stations all set up, reoriented. So as you can see now, I had to redo a lot of this, basically all of it. I restructured this whole outside wall so now, as you can see, it's a lot cleaner. So this wall is intake. So we got screws coming in, plates coming in. They split up and do this. I love how this looks. It is so clean looking. So we got plates and screws going to these to make reinforced plates. And then on the back side, they all just simply merge out into one solid line and go out. So the benefit of, like I said, with this design, if I ever get more screws or more plates on the line, to where I can handle more things being produced. All I have to do is add an assembler, just like this, add a merger, continue these lines on, and boom, I all of a sudden have more reinforced plates. So I can just keep on doing that pretty much until I run out of room. I think at some point though, I'm probably gonna split this upper half or this upper floor in half. So say this is half right here or so, what I'll do is have this be a wall because since this is a loop, I'm probably gonna have assemblers on this side that will start building this way. So I wanna find a halfway point where I can have a nice wall so that way everything's kind of split up. So as you can see, these are all pretty much mirrored. So we got, this is making reinforced plates. I believe this one is just making rotors. Yeah, this one's making rotors. I didn't bother to do the math right now as far as how many parts do I have on each line and things like that. So one thing I also did was I left one foundation worth of buffer on each side for this. So for example, reinforced plates, these need a crap ton of screws right now. So this needs 60 screws, 120, this needs 240 screws. This is only bringing in, bringing in on one line of 120 right now. So we aren't even able to run all four of these, but in the future, I know I have Mark three belts coming in so that's why I'm not bothering to split this just yet into multiple lines because I know pretty soon I'm gonna be able to upgrade this to Mark III lines and then that one line won't be able to handle all this. But in the future, say I really wanna expand this, all I have to do is knock out this wall, add another conveyor line, and then I can just bring in more screws or more plates, however I wanna do it, and I will be good to go. Like I won't start building into the area for this. So then, as you can see, I did that. So that's reinforced plates. We got rotors here. I believe box frames are here now. So now we got box frames being produced. Again, very slowly, but they're gonna be produced. And then smart plating. So I am gonna keep on going with this design, I think. I think I did this wall backwards. I'm trying to keep everything pretty symmetrical. So I was doing this wall like this. So all these are kind of their own little compartment areas. And then, so now what we have to do, we're back basically where we started on the episode, except for I added box frames. So now I wanna do, let's actually just grab an assembler and look at it. We want a 
six more little areas. So like these four, we want six more. One for the beams, one for these stators, one for motors, one for versatile framework, one for automated wiring, and one for AI limiters. And then we can work on, you know, doing the typical thing of piping the stuff in, piping the output out, and then putting that all on the assembly loop. Or I guess the supply loop is what I'm calling it, I guess. So I am just gonna pretty much take care of that. This took me a good hour or so to get all this set up just because I wish I could fly. I wish there I had a jetpack. I'm pretty sure there's a jetpack in this game. I just don't have it unlocked yet. So as you can imagine, it was a lot of me like going down to this floor, setting all this up, going down there, getting the splitters and the mergers set up, bringing it back up. So yeah, I have a lot of that to do when I have to do it for six more of these. So if that took an hour to do these four, it should just about take an hour and a half, two hours ish to get it all set up for the other six. What I'm really excited to see though, is I actually have to think how I want to set this up because I have six foundations worth for each of these segments. So if I, I can actually split this up now. So let's actually, let's just do that. So if we do one, two, three, four, five, six, and then this would be a wall, right? Is that six? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, do we want to do that? I think that'll be fine because I'm trying to think the belts are under us and the way they loop in, we should be able to still bring in here. So this might actually be fine. And then what I think we'll do, instead of me pulling here and setting up more assemblers this way, so say this was a compartment, I don't know if I want to split it off like this. We might, because then again, it's like how many, like how fast does this produce? This produces, let's see this, five parts per minute. So that's still decently fast. Um, is there anything that's super slow? Frameworks, all this is five per minute. Two and a half per minute, that's pretty dang slow. Five per minute, okay, these are all pretty decent still. Maybe I just build this out far enough? And then, hmm, I'm just trying to think what's a good happy little medium here to where I can then shift it and build this way. Maybe we skip a little bit? And I do it something like maybe I start it out here. So that way I give these room to expand outward if I want to. Or I just do the thing, like I said, where we just have this super long. And then I do. So I can do two more compartments there. So say I did the encased industrial beams and like the stators or the stators, whatever they're called. And then maybe I don't start the other four until this side. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do that because this middle area, I can use it for things like the hyper tubes and stuff to come up. So I think that'll probably be worth it. We won't build anything going this way. We'll have everything going, what is this? North to south and then east to west. We won't do anything. We can use this middle part for things like piping stuff up even higher if we need to, or like I said, hyper tubes, things like that. So yeah, we'll definitely do that. So let me take care of it, this for the next six, and then we'll come back, I guess, once I have everything set up and I will give you guys a walkthrough of how it's all done. So hang in there, I'm gonna get to work and we'll be back. Alrighty, we are back. So as you can see, so there's the first four sets, which was the, what was it? Reinforced blades, uh, rotors, box frame, smart plating. Then over here, what do we have here? We have industrial beams, and then I think this is the stators, right? Statters, those are there. Then if we come over here, so I determined that this is going to be the middle area. So if I wanted to extend these out, I'd have until about here to extend this out. This area is just gonna be open. So my idea is if say I need to come down here, and obviously if we need a take these any higher say if that's the base level we can only go so high so what we can do is use this middle area to pull in the first floor stuff and then we could do something like go like that and then ping pong it 
up even higher so we can use the middle area for that as well as we can use it for like walkways and um what else the hyper tubes things like that so i guess let me let me quickly build these to just get right back up here oh of course i didn't build it high enough can i build this build it build it there we go all right so that's what this middle area is for and then over here it's basically a mirror of that so then we got these four compartments all assemblers again so this will be motors and because there's four like i'm just doing four right now i figure that's enough and eventually i'll have enough supply of whatever components they need that will max out these four and once i get to a point where i see these filling up then i can go ahead and add more but i figure it's easier just to add you know four now and then not have to worry about expansion for a bit so we got motors there versatile framework here i believe this is something automated wiring and then this should be ai limiters all right oh no that's fabric what the heck i think i misclicked that one yeah this should be ai limiters there we go yeah as you can see copper sheets and quick wire already pumping in there so you should be pumping out ai limiters awesome so now if we go underneath can i just drop down i think i can make it oh 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 there we go so same setup as over there stuff's coming comes in the output goes this way and then goes out so we had just enough i actually just got enough loops done that we had just enough loops on this inner loop to take care of everything being made so now everything should be added to the loop the only thing is i don't know if we have quick wire for example the machines up there right now are going to be taking all 120 from this although it's a splitter so i guess it's only going to be taking 60 at a time so yeah we should have enough materia i'm dead oh i caught it oh good thing i caught that i would have died all right so we should be, be producing enough materials that i can go over to my storage area and hopefully be able to pull over what was it those six new things the ai limiters the i think i still gotta pull box frames over here so box frames plus those other six things i have to pull all over here it should be pretty doable because I think at the at the moment I'm only pulling like three or four things. It looks like I'm pulling. Okay, box frames are coming. Reinforced plates aren't coming because I have that temporary setup. This should be rotors. This is smart plating. Smart plating's full. Rotors aren't full at all. Although rotors are being used like crazy now with those new recipes. So we got box frames here. So this will end up being. So we need six more. So we got three, four. Then one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll need one more to do what we're doing there. So let me start getting this set up. It's again, a lot of busy work where I have to just run back and forth. I got to climb up top to get all these splitters set. And then I probably have to expand this out. We got one, two, three. Yeah, I got to do one more at least. Oh, let me grab some pipe and some steel beam. Alrighty. And that okay so i gotta set all this up with more reinforced plates and do all the little lifts and the splitters so i'll do that and we'll come back for one last update and actually we'll grab some ai limiters and go unlock the smart or the smart splitter that'll be the last thing we do so let me finish this and then we'll come back all right we are done so this is what i got set up just simply set up these additional lines as you can see we got some framework coming in the other ones are going to go pretty slow, but let's see. We got box rams coming in. We got these staters coming in. I think over here is like, what is this? Versatile framework, I want to say. Yep. And then this should be, is this motors? No, this is the automation, automated wiring. This is going to be motors, I think, right? Motors. And then over here. We're doing that little tiered stacking thing going on here. So this is AI limiters. And what this does, this goes down, goes up because of the whole that being in the way. And then this just comes across and then it goes into the next tier. So then you can imagine the next one would just follow the same sort of line and then go into the next one. 
So if we go in here, we have AI limiters. Alrighty. All right, and then we got motors in here. Let's see, is everything else piling up nicely? It is. Look at that. So these are gonna fill very slowly. Oh wow, that's our first motor coming in. Nice. All right, on the other side, I guess we could put out the all these things so we could see what's actually in the containers. I don't think we have anything in that one. Oh, I already did it on these. Cool. Oh, so that's why we had some in there. They just popped out. Got it. So then if I want to, I can grab these and then I guess I can grab that and that. I don't know how many it takes for that research. Ugh, I don't want to walk all the way out there and then walk all the way back if it takes like 10 of them or something. Uh, let me let me look real quick. Let's see. I'm going to look on the wiki for this because I'm not walking all the way out there and then walking all the way back. Let's see. Oh, 10 smart splitter or 10 AI limiters and then 50 reinforced plates is what it takes to unlock it. So we have one, two, we have six here. All right. So let's wait for the rest. Do we have reinforced plates? We do have reinforced plates. You know what? Let's put this other stuff away because I did have to disassemble the belts a little bit as I was working on it. So that's why we got some of this in our inventory. So let's see. That should go in there. There's a little framework in there. Box frame in there. Don't think I have smart plating or anything. All right. Another AI limiter. Perfect. I mean, ideally there is more AI limiters. Yeah, you can see an AI limiter there because this is only splitting every other one. What would be nice is I could eventually set up with the smart splitters, assuming they work how I think they're going to work, which is set it up to maybe do a certain ratio over here. I'm not too sure how it works, or maybe it's just filtering. Filtering would be kind of cool because then you can do multiple items on one belt. Although then would stuff get stuck? Stuff might get stuck that way. Hmm. It's gonna be interesting to see. Although with one belt, that would help for items that need to be produced that only take like three plates plus, you know, three rods, for example. Like that's not even a recipe, but something that's really small in quantity, you could use one belt to load so much material on and then just use a smart splitter to divvy that up. Although then you'd have to make sure the intake on that line is also equal. Otherwise, one's gonna get backed up over the other. And then if the whole line backs up, the whole thing falls apart. So I guess maybe that's not a great idea. Eh, we'll have to see on that one. All right, how many do we have? We got another one here. All right, number eight. Come on, give me two more, give me two more. Oh, there's number nine. Give me number nine. Oh wait, that's not number nine. Number nine is gonna be on this one. Oh, there's number nine. All right, I'm going to skip ahead to when I got all 10, 10 of these, and then we're going to head back to the research and unlock that smart splitter. Oh, no, oh, we got all 10 right here. Never mind. All right, so I'm going to run back. We're going to go to the ma'am, and we are going to unlock the smart splitter. I guess we're not even going to be able to build it yet, probably. But at least we'll have it unlocked. And then I'll have to think what we're going to do next time. So let me teleport ahead here, and we'll come right back. And we're at the ma'am. All right. So, Caterium. And smart splitter. Five minutes. Oh, get out of here. What else can we actually research? Oh, we could actually do a color gun. Could actually just get that done. Rebar gun. I mean, I guess. Is that gonna is that like a that's just a normal gun, so I don't have to hit stuff with a sword? We could go hard drive hunting, although I don't think that's something I really want to show in an episode. Cause it'd just be me wandering around looking for hard drives. Maybe at some point I just do, I do an episode where I'm just hard drive hunting and then I just like super cut it to unlocking all the different recipes. Maybe that'd be pretty interesting. I don't know. I'll have to see. So we're going to get the smart splitter here in four minutes. So let's just come back when that is done. Although I don't think it's going to show us exactly what it does. Although we might have the materials to build it. So yeah, let's come back when this is done and we'll go from there. Alrighty, 20 seconds left. So while I was waiting for this to finish, I was thinking next episode, what we're probably going to do, we're going to push for these hyper tubes. I need a much better way to get around my base because like coming here and like going to the iron factory or copper factory, not terrible. 
but coming from here and then needing to go all the way out to my storage or going all the way up to the assembly unit or god forbid i ever need to go way out to the steel factory again i don't want to walk that far every time so i think it's going to be worth it if we get the hyper tubes going so that's what we're going to be doing on the next episode but first smart splitter all right research finished what's after that oh nothing it doesn't go down anymore what is this programmable splitter what is a programmable splitter? I've never heard of that. I've heard of smart splitters from watching other videos on this game, but I've never heard of the programmable splitter. Interesting. I wonder if that just got added or something. Okay, so how do I make a smart splitter? Is this something I can make real quick? I can't. I don't have an AI limiter without running way back there. Whoa, you came out of nowhere. So what we're going to do, I'm going to call the episode here. And next time, we are heavily going to push towards hypertubes. And depending on how quickly we can get hypertubes, which shouldn't be too hard, it really depends on actually what these cost to make. I'm hoping it's just things like copper sheets and like reinforced steel or reinforced iron plates. And then we'll probably get a whole like hypertube system set up just so that way I can get around the base a lot faster and a lot easier. So yeah, that's the plan for the next episode. We're going to work on the hypertube. So until then, take it easy, everyone. Mm -hmm.